Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Nanny's On Call and we're bringing you tips and education on how to be the best nanny that you can be each week. So today we're going to tackle a topic that we get asked about all the time. It's how to become a high profile nanny. And I guess the first question is, what is a high profile nanny? So for us at Nannies on Call, a high profile nanny is a nanny who works for a high profile family. So they, those families tend to be families in the film industry, so actors or producers, uh, athletes, professional athletes, and even families who are CEOs and top of some of the biggest corporations in Canada. So those are the types of nannies we're speaking about here. Uh, that work for those types of families. So what are those families looking for? At Nanny's Uncle, we get a lot of these type of families. And of course, because they're often very high paying jobs, we get a lot of our nannies applying for them. Uh, so normally, you know, we get three to five nannies applying for a job. With those families, we often get 10 or more nannies applying, partly because of the of the wage and they feel that they want to make that wage. But there are some things you need to understand before taking on a high profile client and becoming a high profile nanny. So the first one uh, is that you need to know, uh, you need to match their lifestyle. So what does that mean? That means that if you really like to go skiing every weekend with your friends, or you really like to do a yoga class at five o'clock every day, or you have a family dinner being with your family every Saturday night, those things may not work because when when the family's paying you a very high rate and they need they're going to need flexibility families in these positions work different hours they're not nine to five employees they work long hours they work different shifts and so you need to be flexible to accommodate that so your lifestyle has to be able to match that and you have to understand going in that you're gonna to have to make some of those sacrifices. There's benefits on the other side because some days you may have off because they're not working. So it, there is give and take in these, in these roles, but you have to understand that your schedule of yoga class or skiing on the weekend, you might have to give some of that up and you have to be willing to do that for these families. Okay, of course I have my notes so I don't forget anything. Um, you need to obviously have a background in childcare. All of our nannies have that when they come to Nannies on Call, but you have to have a good background, like a strong background in childcare. You have to understand developmental stages. So if you start with a family when their children are infants, you have to understand how to to go through the different stages as their children grow and develop. So you need to have a strong understanding of developmental stages. If you have some kind of background or degree, those are great. They don't have to be childcare related, but um, some kind of post-secondary degree is always uh, looked upon favorably. So that's great. And of course, seasoned nannies. So nannies who have, um, childcare providers who've been specifically nannies, not just uh, sorry, not daycare workers or teachers, which are also fantastic, but seasoned nannies who've worked in the home and understand what it takes to work in a busy home. Okay, of course, I know it's odd, but <laughs> odd, not odd, difficult, but working with high profile families in the past. A lot of high profile families look for nannies who've worked in these positions previously. Um, it can be difficult, I know, to break in, but once you break in, often it's much easier to get other roles because they've seen you work for other actors or they've seen you work for other professional athletes. So they know, the families know you understand their needs. So sometimes it can be easy if easier to break in if it's a temporary position or maybe maybe very part-time hours that a family needs, um, or if you're the second nanny just doing evenings, that can be your way to break in if this is something you're very interested in. Okay, of course you need to interview well. You have to be confident and knowledgeable. So they really want, they don't want to see meek nannies or nannies who are unsure of themselves. They really want confident nannies who fit in well with their family. So uh, that's something, um, making, you know, practicing your interview skills would be a great thing to do. Uh, obviously, confidentiality, I keep saying obviously, but to us, it's obvious. And maybe that's why we're making the video. It's not obvious to everyone else, but confidentiality, 100% confidentiality. Almost all of these clients will require that you sign a confidentiality agreement separate from your contract um, that we help you with. So you have to sign that some families, depending on what level they're at in terms of 
public eye will require that you don't tell anyone who you're working for. So that can be really difficult if you can't tell your friends and family who you're working for, but that may be the case. So you have to prepare yourself for that. So 100% confidentiality, not saying anything that you've seen inside their home, not telling friends and family and posting on Instagram, all of that. There's zero of that and they'll require you sign an agreement before you start with them. Um, so, I mean, I think just to finish it up, those are some of the tips. That's not everything, but that's a really the start of it. And people are always asking us why we choose some nannies over others. And those are some of the reasons we do for sending them to high profile clients. We're looking for highly polished, highly educated, um, seasoned nannies with experience. Uh, someone potentially has experience working for high profile clients in the past and um, stay at their positions for a decent amount of time, you know, and aren't changing positions all the time um, and are able to be flexible and have a can do attitude. So someone who says yes, instead of that's not in my job description. Uh, hopefully that helps. It's, it's a really, that's really the basics and just the starting point, but hopefully that gives you somewhere to go to and maybe we'll do some more videos and some more tips. Uh, if you have worked for a high profile client, um, without naming them, maybe comment down below on what was really important during your job. Was it flexibility? Was it, um, long hours? What was it that made the difference in that position and maybe how you got your foot in the door? So we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we're posting new videos each week. So check back. Have a great week.